every girl knows a beautiful face when they see it. I mean, obviously, they hired me. And that's also why they made my friend Talia a 13-year-old aspiring makeup artist and honorary cover girl. She's battling cancer, and she's as strong as she is beautiful. Here she is teaching you how to look easy, breezy, beautiful during the day. Hi everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a day look with my favorite CoverGirl products. The first one I'm going to use is the Outlast Stay Fabulous 3 in 1 foundation. This is a great foundation for the daytime. One, it has SPF, it has a built-in concealer, it has a built-in primer so you don't need those extra steps. I love this foundation so I'm going to take it right on and I'm going to use a damp foundation sponge. And I'm, I already have some of it on but I'm going to need a little bit more. I use a damp foundation sponge so that way it already has some um, water in it so it gives a more airbrush look. So I'm going to take that, I'm going to start from the inner part of my face and I'm going to work my way out. You can also take your foundation over your eyes because it has a primer in it so it'll help your eyeshadow and stay a lot better. Sometimes it's really hot outside and you want to set your makeup in so that way it kind of locks it all in and it doesn't melt off your face during the day. I always like to just set it just because I like the way it looks, I like the way it feels. So I'm going to take the True Minerals um, Loose Powder and this is the shade O15. And I'm going to take the Puff Thingy Medjugi and I'm just going to kind of set that all over my face. Next, I'm going to take this quad, and it is in the shade 260, and it has a bunch of neutral colors. Neutral colors are the best for the daytime because they're more natural. You have a matte brown for some shading in the crease, and you have kind of like a matte highlight color. Those are the two colors I think are staple for the daytime, but you also have some thrown in kind of um, gold and bronzy colors if you want to amp it up a little bit. I have very sparse brows, so I'm going to need to fill them in. If you have natural full brows, then you don't need to fill them in, but I'm going to take an eyeliner brush, just any angled brush, and I'm going to just fill them in quickly. I usually start at the tail of my brow and just kind of elongate them. And I usually use a matte brow and shadow. It looks more natural. And then you can kind of work your way in just a bit. I'm not going to make them too harsh because you don't want really harsh brows for the daytime. Brows are also super, super important because they frame your face, but they also frame your eyes, and your eyes are like the window to your soul. So the windows need a frame. Get what I'm saying? I'm gonna use the same palette, and I'm gonna use just a regular flat shader brush, and I'm gonna go with the like lightish color, and I'm gonna put that on my brow bone. Right underneath your brow, so it gives a little bit of a highlight. And then that way, when you're looking at it, it'll kind of lift it up. And if you want, you could just put a wash of that on the inner corner. Putting a lighter color will kind of add more light. And then what you're doing by adding darker colors is adding more depth. So I'm going to take the shimmery brown color in this palette. And I'm going to put that on the outer corner of my lid. daytime you want to keep your looks more matte than shimmery just because shimmery can be a little unnatural yeah then I'm going to take that same brown color that I use for my brows and put a little bit in my crease and a little bit underneath my lower lash line So that's basically your eyeshadow for the day look. It's so easy, so simple. And in the morning, if you're just trying to do something quick, this is definitely a look for you. My favorite thing of this whole look is definitely the CoverGirl Clump Crusher. This adds amazing volume to your eyelashes and it separates your lashes so you get big, voluminous, just like big lashes. I recommend this to pretty much everyone. If you look closely at the brush, the hair is, a, it's kind of like in a curved shape. 
but the hairs down here are a little bit shorter so that way you get more product kind of built in it and when you're putting it on your lashes you get more product all you have to do is start from the base of your lashes and kind of wiggle up and you can blink as you go so that way you get more product on it and you can just see how it separates and volumizes and you can look at the difference between those eyes this eye kind of looks really wide and awake and this eye kind of looks like I want to add a little bit more color to the face to kind of just bring it all together. So I'm going to use a little bit of blush, just a peachy, pinky blush. Um, I'm going to use a brush and just get a little bit and kind of smile and put it on apples in the backs of your cheek. Next, I'm going to do the lips. You can leave it at a nude or you can use the Jumbo Lip Balm. These are amazing because they give like a sheer kind of glossy finish. I love them. And this one is like a hot pinky color. And since the eyes are so neutral, you kind of want to pop of color on your lips. And this color is 220. And it's like a hot pink color. And it rolls up so you don't have to sharpen it. So it's like easy. It's just like a sheer color with a soft shine. It's great for an everyday look. So this is basically your completed look. You have nice rosy cheeks, a nice pop of color, and then your eyes are super neutral. Again, you can tone it down, amp it up, whatever you want. And also for your nails, I kind of went with a corally color. Um, I love, love this line of polish, and this is like probably my favorite color from it. And this is, oh, let me look at the shade. It's 240 number, it's coral silk. I love it because it's quick and easy like, I, like this whole look and you don't need a top coat and you don't need a base coat. It's pretty amazing and you can see what you get in the bottle is what you get on your nails. All right, well I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and everything. I hope you guys liked it and if you did, that's cool. All right, bye.